gonna sh this video I'm gonna show you how to import jar file to use okay so I'm gonna try with the import mm -hmm. okay we see dot Java right that's a where to this project right <laughs> Alright, so those are the Java code. Yeah, that those I'll be looking for, right? But if you use the library, you don't need to do import. You can just use from here. Because they have the library for you to use. Like, for example, let's look at this real quick. I'm going to like of course this is this is not in the right location, right? So you can just move it into the right location like for example I'm gonna make it so this is a package name right Mary simulator so I try to actually put it in here <laughs> so it's not letting me do that okay so let me actually just create a package and move the file then so it's going to name Mary Simulator. All right, so I just have the package created. Now just move the file that you need, right? Just hold on your Control key and and drag and drop them. All right, so we have them, and it's actually very short, only six code, six classes. I think if you program with me before, I have you done more than six classes, so this should be easy. Now, very easy, JFrame, right? So that's the first one who showed the frame. So these are just doing images and icons, and this is just to do the buttons, right? Control panel set location, and. Pretty much you can just read the code here if you want to, right? Like for example, like I said, this is one of the things if you want to read. Or you can even use, like this is the main, this is the one that you run, run and it should show the same sim. Now it's missing some file, right? Text file viewer, frame title, pretty much they're depending on the .txt I think. Because when they read in, right? They may because if when you look at when I move, I didn't move everything, so they may look at some of the txt here and images. So need to check the path then, right? So so this pretty much just go through that part and try to find that. All right. So now the question is how how does this ad works? Okay, but uh, I'm gonna show before answering that. Just want to show. Since this is the default, we have public, private, protected, and default. Public is everywhere, right? Private is only inside the class, right? And um, protected is pretty much you can have it in the sub, right? The children's, and also has to be in the same package, right? It's it's a little bit tricky, a little bit when it's protected, but but default, default, default has to be. I mean, if you have it the same package, it's going to see it. Okay, for default. <coughs> I mean, what I've been talking about, you can always search for that scope. And there's a table for that, if you remember, right? So the scope of public, private, protected. So this is I'm um, talking about in 201. So this table, right? So right, protected, right? Subclass is good. You see it. World in public, right? Everywhere for public. But no modifier. This called default that I'm talking about. So in the same packet, you're gonna see it. That's what I try to say. Now subclass like protected is tricky. Like it doesn't have to be in the same package. If it's in the same subclass, 
like you have vehicle vehicle is located in car package and you have plane which is located in plane package you still be able to use vehicle methods in plane because plane happen to extend vehicle you get that what it means but now we just take the no modifiers which is in the same package so that's why this is the package name Mary Simulator I created a test so I should be able to access to the add methods that we just look at uh, what was the class name again let's check that we just look at Mary d -pad. right there all right so let me just try to use it mm-hmm but we can because this is not static we cannot do Mary d -pad that add we only do can do that when it is static this is non-static. You have to instantiate an object. And of course it depends on the constructor of this. Okay, they have default, which is good. I don't have to look at. There you go. So you have an access to a method to use. That's why I try to tell you when you have it in, you can just reuse some of the method and packages into your own project code. That save ton of times, but question is just like, do you understand what does this do, right? So that means my time frame is reasonable. Makes sense now because you can reuse all the codes here, right? So you just need to put your time on reviewing your code. It's done. All right. So before we understand the add for the Java code, we need to understand how. Mary works so Mary pretty much do load right address at 1104 which is 001 into accumulators if we want to rerun this again restart okay so run we can set the delay okay okay and then you can hit run so it should start from the beginning load right and add and show output okay so that's how it works so load address one first or if I want to pretty much just reload the whole thing clear it and do step so one go into accumulator correct and then that according to instruction right load the contents of address X into AC and my X pretty much I name it ADDR1 right because load X like that, load ADDR1 to SC. Now, again, let's review our last class. We talked about IR. IR pretty much just is going to get translate, right? Load, load, load command is what? 0001, right? Which is in hexa is 1, right? So that's why if you look back, if you look back, compare load is one this is in hexa and the instruction architecture right we said four bits first four bit is the address that's why the opcode and the last 12 bit is going to be address location which is 104 so that's why it's jumped to 104 right so and this is actually the physical RAM which is your 104 here 104 you have 001 because we store when you declare right ADDR in your code is pretty much give value and store in that location it's just look the same exactly when you do in your Java in x equal to 1 right uh, I shouldn't say int because int is 60, 32 bits it should be short right 16 bits exactly like that because this is 16 bits 4 times 4 right each digit represent 4 bits hexadecimal now we get 001 into AC and then IR is 1104 and MAR pretty much just address registers hold 104, right? Because address is 104, right there. 
and MBR is pretty much just hold the values of that address buffer registers which is 001 PC counter is ready to go execute next instruction increment by one at a time which is 101 now when do step PC should increment to 102 to get ready for the next command then command 101 has been executed as a green line said it's pretty much just add now let's review the add command again like I said the critical point is the meanings column this one is easy this one you need to understand at the contents of address X now the address X in this case we say ADDR2 which is 002 right that's the contents that we assign if you do look at your RAM at location 105 command at is 3 right 3 105 of course say 3 go to 105 take the value 1002 like I said at the contents of address X at this X content is 002 to AC and AC was 001 right earlier then we add 001 to 002 then we get 003 okay and store the result in AC that means the results stay there that's why AC is 003 now let's look at this next command output so instruction set output is 6 you see that's 6 right output the value in AC to the display so we talk about register display which is output here so when I execute the next step that PC ready right so I'm going to step it's just take the output right there from AC to output okay so it's very clear cut right there right and then last one is just to stop the program halt so which is 7 terminate the program so when we run it it's just in that's it now we understand what does add do now how are we going to do the simulate it just like this so we started a code for Mary and Mary happened to have open source for us here it's pretty much just tell you here hey this is the whole right MAR of course this is telling you bit 0 to bit 11 because bit 0 to bit 11 is the address you move that to MAR let's review again right so if you look at this where it say add 105 is bit 0 to bit 11 so it moved that to MAR right so that's why we have 105 when we do that at that point so MAR should have 105 if we reload this again step step 105 right there because it's still here that's this is called RTL code okay RTL uh, you see in the slide I don't remember what it stand for RTL pretty much is the 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 CPU or at register register transfer line code something it's not like that okay it's just it's going to take the code and tell register transfer language yes so it's like you see these are all registers we talk about MAR registers this is instruction registers right so these are all register IR see that so at the point of IR I only want the last three digits of hexadecimal giving giving me 12 bit 0 to 11 and move that 105 to MAR that's it you see that that what it does and uh, this instruction IRL register language instruction register language actually pretty much is your pseudocode here tell you algorithms step by step that what you try to do in here because that's the point right when you add you move that first and the next move the MARS memory at that registers which is you put that values 105 and then you go to that memory to pull the contents so this is the contents it's going to get out and store into MBR when you put M pretty much you just talk about the memory that means the contents like if you don't have M you talk about MAR it's just the address this is just like an array right an array M that index which is the address index 105 what is the contents going to return right just like an array so we have the contents which is 002 return to MBR 
and then the accumulator pretty much is going to add the content as AC plus 